hey, did you ever want to figure out how you can take your audio from sounding like this to this? Notice how it's a lot cleaner, it's a little bit deeper toned, and there's a lot less hiss in the background. I'm going to show you how to do that with a very simple free software. Let's dig into it. Hey, so as stated in the intro, we're going to be working with our sound settings. So just full disclosure, there may be some there may be some times where we cut back and forth because I might not catch that the audio is not going to the video. So uh, you might see future me and then you might see current me. So uh, bear with me through this. But uh, I have been using voice meter for quite a while now, so I'm very comfortable in showing you how to set it up. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to vb-audio.com, link in the description below, and uh, what we're going to be using today is a voice meter banana. Now VB Audio has actually created three different versions of this application. There's regular voice meter, voice meter banana, and voice meter potato. Voice meter potato is the one that I currently use. The reason being is it kind of gives me more flexibility. It gives you the most flexibility. And let me say that it gives you the most flexibility to have more hardware input devices. So multiple uh, audio inputs and it has three audio output devices. So you have more channels to break your audio output into. So you have, you can have a channel that has just your desktop audio. You can have a channel that has just discord audio. And then you can have a channel that has maybe like Spotify or iTunes or something like that. So that way in your live stream, you might want to, you might want to have, uh, your desktop audio and discord audio, but you don't want to have your music audio. And then if you're recording or if you're recording, you might want to have just your PC audio, but you don't want to have your discord audio or your music audio. So. This one here gives me the greatest flexibility. Also, you can adjust individual applications. I don't know if you can see this right here. Um, you can actually adjust individual application volume within this uh, UI right here, rather than going to like um, sound settings, open volume mixer, just in case you didn't know about this, you can actually uh, adjust sound levels per application right here. It's basically this is connected to this window right here. FYI. <laughs> so the one that we're gonna be working with today, like I said, is gonna be voice meter banana. It's pretty much the most commonly used audio, audio software on the market right now. The best part about it is, like I said in the intro, it is absolutely free. Um, they do like if you uh, donate to them and help support the, uh, the project, there is no obligation to pay them. So this is a really great piece of software. So like I said, we're going to go to vbaudio.com. I'm actually going to link the, the, the link down in the description below straight to the voice meter banana page. And the other thing that we're going to need is the virtual audio cable, which kind of connects everything uh, on the PC. So let's go ahead and download voice meter banana. I like to download the exe file. Hey guys, future Dagan07 coming at you from post-production. I wanted to stop right here and just kind of interrupt you and let you know that the setup process for this is the exact same for voice meter potato if you do choose to go with voice meter potato. So even though the video is on voice meter banana, you can use these same exact steps to set up voice meter potato. Let's go back to the video. And then we also need to download the virtual audio cable. So I'm on Windows. They have the, the virtual audio cable for Mac. I have not seen this on Mac yet, but if there is a Mac version of this, please leave a comment in the comment section down below so other users can uh, benefit from this awesome software. So like I said, we're gonna download that virtual audio cable and we're gonna download, I'm on Windows, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and open up voice meter here, the exe file. I, I actually have voice meter installed uh, already, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it for the purpose of this video. And what you're hearing right now as it sits right now is the raw audio from my microphone. So uh, this is completely unfiltered. Uh, it's probably 
full disclosure, it's been modified slightly in post-production, but it's not using um, the, the voice meter banana settings that I usually like to use. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And let me restart the system real quick to get it uninstalled. One moment. Okay, we're back after that restart. Now we have to restart uh, start the, the exe file again. So let's go ahead and double click on that. And we have to click install. Basically saying ready to install, click the button to the right. It will install v, uh, VB audio voice meter on your system. And now it says installation is complete. Now we have to reboot the system. I have to reboot the system again. Give me just a few moments. And we are back after the second reboot of this video. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and see if voice meter has been installed. We're gonna go to the start menu here. We're gonna type in voice meter. We should see voice meter banana pop up. So let's go ahead and launch voice meter real quick. And because the, uh, I've, I've used this before. There's it saves all your settings in a file. So let me just remove all of my current settings here. Uh, we'll pop this back up to zero, zero, and I'll explain kind of what all of this means here. I do not, I don't, I don't want to move those because, uh, those are very, very specific here. Let's see, uh, this one I can't remove. Remove device selection here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the uh, the cable, the audio cable pack. So let me go ahead and extract all the files. And the thing that we need to do is we need to go to VB cable setup uh, x64.exe. And we're gonna go ahead and install that driver um, if you get that error to run in administrator mode, if you're an, an, an admin to your computer, you can just right click and run as administrator. And with that, now we should be able to install the driver. It's going to ask you, it's going to prompt you always trust software from Vincent Bureau. Um, just, you can install it. Vincent Burel is VB for the VB dash cable, just so you know. Installation complete and successful. You might need to reboot your system to finalize installation. I am not doing another reboot because I, this was already installed on the system anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. but this is not. Okay. Properties. Okay. okay. There, there we, we go. So, so let, let me, me show, show you what, what I just did. did. You, you should, should be, be kind, kind of hearing, hearing an echo right, right now. now. So, what, what I, I did, did let, let me turn this, this let me mute this. this. We're muting the raw microphone audio now. And what I did is I went to properties, just like I showed you, and I changed my mic to the voice meter output, just like that. And now uh, you're hearing the audio through voice meter. So now if I actually go over here to voice meter, I can change what they call this IntelliPan so that as I drag this around, my my audio sounds much different, as you can see. So I'm going to put this right back, pretty much right where I had it, because that's where I like my uh, audio settings to be. And then I'm going to set my A1. So this is like your physical hardware out. So this would be like if you're pushing your audio to a soundboard or something to that extent, you could do that. So I'm going to put it to my headphone. 
And if I actually listen in my headphones and I click A1, now I can hear the audio in my headset. So if you have speakers, like I have speakers in one of my monitors, that's going to be this guy right here, the AMD High Definition Audio Device. So this is A2, so if I wanna to listen to those speakers, I can put A2. And because it's very soft, I'm gonna up the volume. I'm gonna take these off just so I can make sure I can hear. But now I can hear the audio through my speakers and you might hear feedback now. So I'm gonna remove that and remove it off that. And that's the very basics on um, how to set up voice meter banana. So now I'm gonna set up my headphone mic. So I'm gonna grab the headset microphone Corsair, Corsair Void Pro USB gaming headset. That's this guy right here. I'm gonna adjust this to kind of match because that was really stupid low. I'm going to mute. I'm basically going to take the audio away from the condenser mic. And now I'm pushing the mic. You're only hearing the mic from here. So versus here. So I'm going to leave the condenser mic. No audio coming through it. You would be able to hear the tapping. So, so now I've switched it back. Now you should be able to hear the tapping. Now we're tapping on this one. And that's the basics of that. So now if I want just, if I want to use this headset in Discord alone, let me get my condenser mic back on over here. here. We're going to remove the headset mic from this particular piece of audio. We're going to put it to B2, which is going to be this voice meter aux. Let me open up my Discord. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to user settings, voice and video. And you're going to change your input device to VB Audio Voice Meter Aux VIO. So now if I test, as you can see, I'm talking here. You can see that it's automatic. It's still detecting my audio signal. And we can also check. We want the output device to be the... VB Audio Voice Meter VIO. So now I should be hearing something. Maybe not. Like I said, I'm doing this kind of in real time as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to YouTube and make sure we can hear some audio. Let's see. C slash Dagono 7. Don't forget your slashes. Okay, as you can see, we are not hearing anything and I know exactly why. So you can see that the audio is coming through right here and you guys are probably hearing it. Yeah, you guys are 100% hearing it. So it's just me that I can't hear it. So because the reason why I can't hear it is because I don't have any audio going to my headphones. Let me pause this. Let me mute that. And like I said, I don't have any audio going to the headphones. So uh, the desktop audio is going to this channel right here, the voice meter VIO. So we need to push that channel to our headphones. Okay. So now if I... 
come over here and do the audio. Now I can hear it just fine. And if I come back over here to the voice settings, let's check. Now I can hear my audio audio in my headphones. So let's say you have you have you wanted to, you have music going on on this voice meter aux, but you don't want it in your headphones, but you want it on your speakers. You push the voice meter aux to the two. And now any audio that's that's playing through here will be played through the speakers or whatever you have set as your um, or excuse me, do this set it as the A2 and whatever speakers or whatever audio you have playing through this channel will play through in my case, my speakers. So I hope that was clear enough for you. Um, I can do a limit. Let, let's do like kind of a brief overdue overview rundown, right? So real quick. As soon as you set up your voice, as soon as you've installed your voice meter banana and you've in installed the virtual audio cables, you want to set your first, your first hardware input as whatever mic that you're using. Mine is the AT2020. You want to set it to B1, which is voice meter VIO. After that, you want to go to your sound, open sound settings, and you want to make sure that your output device is set to voice meter, uh, VB audio voice meter VIO as well. To push that sound to your headphones or to your speakers, you'll, you want to set up for me, my headphones is a one for me. Uh, and then my speakers is uh, a two. So I want to push the desktop audio to a one so I can hear it in my headphones. And I'm pushing the microphone audio to, to be one, which sends it to this audio out. So I can then use it within, uh, like Streamlabs OBS or OBS studio or what have you. So I know that was a lot of information and I hope it all made sense to you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. There's also a link to my discord channel where you can reach out to me directly and I can help you as best as I can uh, if I have the time to be able to do so. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, please smash that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, tick that notification bell so that you get a notification for when I uh, post new videos. Also, you can catch me pretty much every single day on Twitch at nighttime between 10 and midnight central time. And that's twitch.tv slash Dagan07. And you can also find me on uh, Twitter at twitter.com slash Dagan07 down here at the bottom as well. All those links are going to be down in the description below. And uh, guys, be safe out there with the coronavirus. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.